product that I use the most probably was, is Expedite. You know, I love Expedite. You know, I feel like, you know, I train for like two hours more when I want Expedite. Hey everybody, Marcos Vegas here in sunny Riverside, California at the RGBA Academy being joined with heavyweight Mr. Chris Ariola, who uh, is birthday boy today as we uh, talked about it off oh, camera. Man. Oh, man. Getting the, getting the grays, but you're, you're embracing it. Unlike me, who every time I see my grays, I get a little sad inside. Like I said, man, it's better to have grays than to have no hair, so I'll take my grays, just leave them in there, just leave my hair. How are you celebrating the birthday? Training. Yeah? That's, yeah, man. Is that a normal thing for birthdays? Nah, not no. so much. But you know what? Well, I'll celebrate after the, after the win on the 16th, you know. Ain't no big deal. I'm only 38. It's not like it's a big milestone number. You lying, bro? No, I swear to God, I ain't doing nothing. You lying? I swear, I ain't doing shit. Probably just go <laughs> eat and that's it. No, no chelas secretly or anything? No, bro, I don't. You know what, bro? I haven't been drinking as much. I don't drink beer as much. I drink vodka water and shit. Try to... <laughs> Keep my slim fit. Zero, zero, yeah, zero calories, zero carbs. Yeah, man. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm drunk as shit and I'm good. <laughs> You're a big guy, though. It must take a lot, no? It takes a while, bro. Yeah. It takes a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes me like two drinks. I'm like, ugh. Like, I'm already like feeling it. Nah, I'm a vet, bro. I, yeah. it, takes, it takes me a while. <laughs> <laughs> like six, seven? Oh, nah, man. At least what? ten. At, at least ten, ten bro? Least ten. Damn. At least ten, yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is a uh, a change there, Riola, then. If, if no chelas, no drinking, yeah, focus I, I, in I, camp. I haven't, I haven't drank, you know. Oh, fuck, since Christmas. Really? N not a single drip of alcohol? Beer. No beer since Christmas. No beer since and then since New Year's, I had some tequila at... And that's it. And that's it? Yeah, man. Hey, let me shake your hand. You're, you're a better man than me. Yeah, I, 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 it's, it's I don't think I... Large. Yeah, it is. What are you talking about? Uh, we're in California, bro. We have other things to indulge in. Like what? California, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say tacos and, and some other stuff, but no, 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 no. So you're gonna be in Dallas. You're gonna yes, be on this yeah. card. Let me know a little bit about the fight that you have uh, on this undercard. You know what? It's gonna be a, a tough uh, fight again with uh, John Pierre Austin, uh, because not only is he undefeated, but he's hungry, man. He's gonna out there. He's gonna come try to make a name by for himself. And he's a lefty. I think there's the first lefty I fought since my eighth, seventh fight. Yeah, so it's it's a little. It took me a while to get used to a spawn with someone left lefty, but um, I think I'm there. I think I'm ready. Um, we'll be having to pump pump a lot of jabs, a lot of right hands, and and just throw him down the middle. He's one of those fighters that uh, um throws good combinations and he moves a lot. So I'm gonna be chasing him down. When you say his name, like I don't know anything about him. Uh, I've never seen him fight. Uh, <laughs> hey, what's up, little man? <laughs> That's your son. What's up, little little Chris? No, hell no, nah, dog. His name is Alex Allen Ariola. Triple oh, A. Triple A. What's triple up, Triple A? a? Get out of here, Vato. <laughs> no, but when I think of your opponent, you said Jean Pierre. I think of like this stocky, like French guy. Like how? Like physically? Like how is he? No, he actually, he actually has a very no homo, but he has a very nice, nice build. He's about 6'3", <laughs> 230, you know. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. I was, I was, I, I have you got to give compliments. Guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, and he's a good mover. He moves yeah. a lot. He's a good mover, and uh, he has good boxing skills. So that's one thing that I have to deal with him. But, yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a black dude that moves very good. And you think he's good looking? No homo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a good looking dude. Yeah. I got some guys, some girls, I'm gonna send to his room. I'll, um, I'll Lawrence Taylor. You ever do that? Like to mess no, with an opponent? No, but but I, once I did go uh, play golf with Lawrence Taylor. Not yeah. that I golf, but I was there with him. Yeah. And he was talking about that. And he goes, Yeah, I would send prostitutes to, you know, guys' rooms that, you know, next day they couldn't block me because their legs were gone. So, yeah. Have you ever heard of. Fighters doing stuff like that no, ever? They should. <laughs> they, they should. <laughs> That's a good idea. Like, how, how do you think someone would react? Like they get a knock on the door, and then it's like four prostitutes there, and you're like, uh, "Well, fuck." <laughs> oh, I guess. Come <laughs> in. You know. Right. You know. Might as well. When in Rome. You know. We're gonna do what? Uh, uh, what was it? Um. Uh, um. Freddie Roach says you could have sex, but don't ejaculate. What was the point then? It, it, I, okay. The point. I kind of get it. It gets your testosterone up. Okay. And it gets you more mad because you're an ejaculate, I guess. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know.
I don't know. Just get it wet, but don't ejaculate. That's like asking a like a hooker for a hug. Like there's like no no payoff. I have. I have. We'll just get a hug. Yeah, yeah, just, get <laughs> just get a hug. <laughs> like, uh, you know, like, it, anticlimactic. <laughs> yeah, it happens. <laughs> I love how chaotic and out of freaking tangent this interview has gotten. <laughs> right? Go from left to right. Yeah, Let's go. Right. Hey, dude, you're, you said you're 38. Do you yeah, ever I'm imagine right. fighting for this long? No, actually, no. Not not really, man. Yeah. And and you know what? I watch other fighters that, that started fighting. I was fighting. I'm like, man. How did you guys retire? And and I think about other fighters that I found us in the amateurs. I'm like, how am I still fighting? I just love it, yeah. and it, I'm I'm okay. I feel like I'm still understanding. You can still understand what I'm saying. I'm not mum. I don't, I don't mumble and stuff. So I feel like I'm okay. How much more do you think you you still got left, or, or is there a preference as to when you want to go ahead and ride into the sunset? If I lose, I'll retire. Next weekend, if you lose, you'll retire, really? Absolutely. Yeah. Anytime, if I lose, I will retire. Next fight. Next fight I lose, yeah. I will retire. Because I'm, I'm, like I'm saying, I'm fighting to get a title. Yeah. That's why I'm in this. I'm in here to win a title. I'm in the boxing game to leave a legacy. I'm in here to be remembered. Yeah. You know, I can't remember, be remembered at home. The only ones going to remember is my son, my daughter, my wife. And then after that, they die. My shit's going to be done. So I want to leave something behind. I want to be... Remember that guy, Chris, I remember that crazy fuck? Yeah, he got the title. So I want to be that guy. So if I don't get it, I'll retire. Without no hard feelings, you know, boxing has done great for me. Um, it has given me a great life. But I want to give back to boxing, and the way I give back is by winning that title. I'll remember you. You always made me laugh. You're a funny guy. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> uh, you got the, uh, the situation uh, with uh, Wilder and Fury. You mm -hmm. fought Wilder in his hometown um, over there in um, Birmingham uh -huh. in Bama. What do you make of the situation, you having fought Wilder and that rematch not happening now? It's not happening? No, it's not happening. Why? I don't know. I, I've, I've read that they, they want to, Fury wants to go into a... Like a, a build-up fight because he just got on ESPN mm -hmm. to build up the rematch. Mm -hmm. That they still want the rematch, but they're going for a bit. You're giving me this look like bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Uh, it's because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you know, they're trying to make more money. They're trying to eat both of them. Or at least uh, 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 Fury looks but like you can't blame the guy. Blame him, you can't blame him. Because financially, that, that looks like, you know. Anybody in that position would be like, well, hell, why not make an extra five, ten million, like, you exactly. know? And you know what? Um, let's just hope it, it, it makes it happen. Let's just hope it happens one way or another. Because, you know, that brought heavyweights back. That made people want to watch heavyweights again. You know, the way Fury went down and he got up like the Undertaker, you know, everyone loves that. Loves the heart, loves the punch. So let's just hope that fight happens soon. So for you then, how does uh, AJ work in all this? AJ is just uh, in the in the outskirts looking in. I feel like AJ is just biding his time, just waiting his time so he could just get someone easy. But uh, I hope AJ fights Wilder. Why not? Why haven't they fought? Why? Make it happen already. Why do you think they haven't fought, in your personal opinion, from what I, you know I, I, and heard? Oh, I don't know nothing. Yeah. But from what I feel, I honestly think that uh, um, AJ is a little scared of, of Wilder. I do. I think he's scared of losing his crowns to the American Wilder. Miller, do you think it's any uh, threat there to AJ? Any heavyweight's a threat. Because like I said, one punch could just change a fight, make a difference in everything. But I don't think he has the fight skills to beat someone like uh, AJ. I don't think he does. Uh, does he have the punchy power? Sure. But would he catch him? I don't think so. He's a funny guy, though. He makes for an entertaining fight, and he comes it, to fight. It, 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 he is a funny guy, and I remember me, meeting him and doing face-off. He ain't nasty. He ain't that tall. He's, he's a little shorter than me. Yeah, he is, actually. He's a little You're a tall-ass Mexican, man. I know, right? Yeah. Fuck. How tall are you? Six, 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 three and a six, half. Three and a half? You're shrinking, bro. You've been shrinking. Uh, what do you mean you've been shrinking? Man, I don't know. I was 6'4 at one point. Now I'm like 6'3. It's not the shoes. I'm like, damn. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what happened. You got to go to your chiropractor. Like, oh, loosen, loosen up those bones. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're taller, though, than that towering inferno guy. Or is he taller than you? Who's that guy? The, the, the tall guy. The, the guy that fights at 154. 
Sebastian uh, Fondudura or yeah, yeah. Oh, he's a tall kid. Oh yeah, he's taller than you then. Tall he's kid. six seven or yeah, six five. He's a tall okay. kid. He, he wins tallest Mexican award, but you're I, second place. Tall lanky. Yeah. Tall lanky, man. That he's a tall kid. I don't know how that kid makes 154. That's crazy. Yeah. Hollow bones. Hollow man, yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, hollow bones. Well, Chris, man, next week uh, I look forward to uh, your fight to, and seeing you in action. I'm, I'm glad you. you're back, and it's Thank always a great time uh, chatting you. with you. Thank and you, once brother. again, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you, guys.